right, we're talking with Max Copeland. Max, uh, at the end of the season, you uh, won the Unsung Hero Award. Yeah. Um, just talk about what that meant and, and what you had to do to, to get to this point here at Mizzou. You know, I don't know if I'd say I'm unsung because I do a lot of singing on the team. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it was, I mean, it's good. You know, everyone's got their role, man. And, you know, you want to be a championship team, everyone's got to do their role. Mine's being an unsung hero, and, and I'm happy to do that. Well, you did talk about your uh, your noise level that, that you create. <laughs> did they tone you back last year a little bit? It looked like they kind of toned you down a little bit after the first uh, couple practices. Um, they didn't tone me down. They just uh, changed the rating. It went from rated R to PG-13. I think <laughs> that was probably better for my spiritual health. <laughs> Um, you're going to be playing uh, a lot of left guard, it looks yeah. like. Uh, yeah. You played mostly at, at right guard. Talk about the differences. Tell our viewers the, the differences between those two positions, if any. Um, if you see the Seinfeld episode where, uh, who is it? Elaine Bizarro, Bizarro Jerry, <laughs> where uh, Elaine starts hanging out with the Bizarro and everything's backwards. So it's the same, it's the same stuff, but um, it's completely backwards. So you kind of have to get your bearings about you, but it's the same stuff. It's just mirror image. So you got to... You know, your body starts to form and develop, you know, cater to a right-handed stance. So you kind of have to, but it's nice to change it up. You know, like you get a little bit more ambidextrous that way. How, how much of a struggle was it with all those injuries on the offensive line last year? Uh, it, was a, it was a huge struggle. But, but you know, you don't, you don't get to uh, have a say in what happens to you. Sometimes you got to take your lumps and you got to keep going anyway. That's what, that's what rock and roll is all about. That's what we're bowsing no line, you know. We'll, we'll take what we need to do and we'll get our job done. And, and that's, uh, that's what we're setting out to do here, man. You know, we're not worried about the past, man. It's time to get down to business, start rocking and rolling, man. Yeah, and talk about that as you come through that that cloud, and, and now you look to, you know, this season. What can you take from that in, ter in terms of a learning lesson? Um, you know, every rep's a learning lesson. Um, if it goes great or it goes horribly, it's still a learning lesson. If you choose to look at it as a learning lesson. So, so we're we're taking not only last season, but we're also taking the work we've done in the off season. We've we've put in some pretty substantial work, and um, we've we've learned from mistakes, but we've also learned from successes, man. And, and we're ready to get going. Max, you're a physics major. Do you take anything from the classroom? You know, force and energy and all that. Do you apply that to football at all? Absolutely, man. I mean, really, that's why I did it. You know, I mean, I like you know, I like doing cool stuff, and that was cool stuff, and it, it helps me as a football player. I start to think that way, and you know, that's that's something physics helps you do. It just breaks stuff down into vectors and angles, and kind of simplifies things. You start to look at things in a new lens, you know, and uh, and it's it's helpful. It gives me a new perspective on motion, and I I think it's helped me, I guess. Well, vectors and angles and uh, motion, that's all over my head, so I don't know how that's simplified, but hey, it's working for you. So. Yeah, man, you know, it keeps me out of trouble, too. keeps me off the streets. Hey, Max, we'll catch up with you later, all right? Brother, sounds good, man. Rock and roll.